he wasn't too cool. Stop getting around motherfucking yep. your homie that's rapping and making putting that making him happen and start thinking and stop thinking you him. Cause I'm tired of you niggas standing around the rappers like you rap, nigga. You don't rap. You a homie, nigga. Put, get, fall, get a fallen position, man. Stop the cool shit, man. Pick up the camera. <laughs> Give me the camera real quick. Let me see that. This shit costs a couple dollars. Grab a camera and figure that shit out. Watch a YouTube tutorial and journey. Them niggas that just dropped that Kanye West, they was just homies that grabbed the camera, man. They grabbed the camera and just start shooting. That's now they getting all that hungry. money from Netflix. Motherfuckers like, be hungry. Motherfuckers be hungry. Because I don't, listen, man, at the end of the day, the reason I say this, because that role, that role saved a lot of lives, man. Nigga ain't got to be down the block. Nigga ain't got to be going through with the ops. You all see right. what I'm saying? That shit saved the block. And I'm going to say this to all you niggas while I'm in here. I understand where you at, and I understand the, you know, I understand the ground game. But the name of the game is to put an exit plan together somewhere down there. Right. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm gonna just be real with you. You can't teach what you don't know. You can't lead where you ain't go. You understand? My situation was different than y'all. When I went to the penitentiary, did the twenty. You know, I was caught. I was living my life. So I try to tell you, young niggas, tell y'all my story so y'all can learn my story, don't live my story. But I understand. I trust me. I understand what's going on, and I understand how certain shit gotta go. But you gotta look, try to try to plan it out. Even if you, you know, some of y'all, listen, we we gonna be real, man. I got it, and I gotta say this. Cause some of you, some of some of y'all in this room, y'all might not see next year. Y'all might not see next week. And niggas ain't saying that to y'all, cause a lot of y'all niggas ain't got no fathers or none of that shit. So my position is here and here or some shit like damn. I fuck with you, young nigga. Because when I was young, ain't too many niggas give me the game. And I know you niggas ain't got no dads out here. You know? He he happy a grown ass man and he happy that his dad back. Grown, he's like, damn, because he missed that shit. And I know a lot of niggas, niggas that gave y'all game, they gave y'all game that was beneficial to them and it wasn't beneficial to y'all and it put y'all in a fucked up position in life. Y'all seen niggas, you know, treat your mommy like a, you know, like a sucker. So y'all got a lot of shit and it's a disconnect from the older black man and y'all just, y'all just been disappointed your whole life. But for you niggas in here, who big brothers, who stepdads, who uh, OGs is in prison that took... I try to be my best to do it for y'all and get y'all righteous game. And I'm and this coming from a nigga that's out here winning on legit. This is the first time in my life. First time in my life. Talk to him, nigga. I ever been, listen, nigga, tomorrow I'll be out of penitentiary five fucking years. I've never been out of penitentiary a year since I was 11. I spent five years in the juvenile system, 20 years in the penitentiary. I'm 42 years old. I spend most of my time on this planet in a cell. So I'm just sprinkling the game with y'all. Some of y'all gonna get it, and I know some of y'all wanna change, but the environment don't allow you. Y'all, y'all ain't got the shot. And y'all don't have it. And, 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 and that ghetto, you just don't have the finances to really move outside of the poverty and the conditions that we box the fuck into. So I know y'all up against the fucking eight ball. But if you if you could think, man, don't never lose your imagination because you're gonna be able to see farther than the neighborhood. And that's why every time y'all go out with him on tour or go somewhere, Take advantage of what you're seeing, man. That exposure will change your mind. Cause we gotta get we gotta get it right so we can take care of these babies. Because so many of y'all in this room, the OGs, when they see you, you know what they say? Nigga, you you, you rhyme just like your daddy. Your daddy homies that's not in position is just out here living off of memories. When them niggas see you, they can't give you no game. Cause they on drugs or they ain't in position. So they'll just tell you some shit. Nigga, you just like your daddy. And the sad thing is, you just like your daddy. You ain't never get a chance to get another fucking life, man. You never got a shot. So I understand. I understand, man. But if you can see, try to look outside of this shit because it's a world that's one fucking waiting for y'all, man. It's a real world that's waiting for y'all. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, these babies and these women, they depending on y'all. You understand? Sure. No, and, 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 you know what I mean? And on some real shit, we racing each other. But, I, but another again, it's the condition of our mind and I understand, but I'm telling you, it's something, it's something waiting for you. And I don't give a fuck what you going through right now, little homies. You bigger than what you going through, nigga. If you on them perks, you fucked up, shit ain't right for you right now. Mm-hmm. You the living conditions, nigga, you bigger. That's not you. Talk to him, cuz. You, you're not what the fuck you going through. So just hold on and keep going. Because I'm telling you, man. I'm, I can name 20, 30 niggas and my homies is dead. I'm here, though. 